Howdy doody. It's deodorant making time. Deodorant making time. I'm sure there's some uh, doTERRA fans out there. So I'm using two oils here. Uh, Malusha, actually, and which is tea tree oil and lemongrass. And actually my lavender will be here tomorrow. A friend donated them. Um, so you're going to need a empty small mason jar, possibly. Baking soda, corn starch, a bowl, and something to do your mixing with. Uh, and the basis for it, which is coconut oil. And you really want it to be unrefined. There's refined and unrefined. So unrefined is a bit purer than the refined is. So oh, also you're going to need a half cup, a measuring cup, and a fourth cup. So I already put the... Uh, coconut oil in there already so we'll get this party started so that's half a cup of coconut oil and I poured the baking soda in here already so there's a fourth cup of baking soda get some cornstarch mm -hmm. fourth cup and I like to add a little bit of extra uh, cornstarch to help with the consistency of it. And one thing to remember with this stuff, once the temperature reaches a certain point, um, which the coconut oil usually has on it, um, it will melt. So <clears throat> don't worry about that. Um, it melts, just stick your finger in it, stir it up, and you'll be good to go. So, all the ingredients in. So, what I do is I take this and I mix this up. And once this is thoroughly mixed, then I actually put the uh, essential oils in. So, you can see me do this in real time. I have a couple of jars right here. Oops, that I've already made. There's one. And there's two. I have some family members that want them. So. <laughs> no. I can taste the cornstarch. So I actually made this, uh, the first time I actually made this was uh, at Elements of Health with, um, oh, I can't remember her name, but Astara invited me over. Uh, she's my massage therapist. And I've been using it and I'm close to being out. And I had a friend give me these. So I'm going to use them. Of course, you can take this and mush it up with a fork, actually with a spoon, with your hand. Actually, the first time I did it was with my hand. It's a bit messy. A bit messy. Um, I didn't really measure it out either, so uh, yeah, it was a bit messy, to say the least. drops of each and yes you do want to count them you want 10 
almost like mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Can you see that? See it? That just looks like mashed potatoes. <laughs> Good clean deodorant for your armpits. So again, I do plan to add lavender to this uh, once I get it, but it still works. This right here actually works just fine. So it's up to you. A lot of people will use cypress. I used cypress in my last one. Um, I don't think I had any frankincense. Frankincense is a uh, Another great one. I think that a lot of, as far as the oils go, a lot of people use that as a, a good base as far as the oils for deodorant. Up to you. It is up to you. So that was supposed to be a full. Bam. It is just like that. So just like that, you got yourself some all natural, truly all natural deodorant that you can use and you know what ingredients went into it. You can spell them all. You can pronounce them all, and uh, I think that's that's about it. That's what it's about. Knowing what you're putting in and on your body uh, will help increase your longevity and your health. And believe me when I say it, very important. Very, very important. So that's a wrap. Back at you later with another know-how. Shake it easy. <laughs>